uh, let's get to start a demo first of firebase hosting with the blazor application and firebase db and here we have just built up one application blazor web application along with firebase db right and which is host in our firebase host so here you can see uh, the all that hotel management system we have to build so let me show you first how actually it is working so if i want to any new hotel add so i can just easily add and this hotel will be actually whatever data will be saved that save into our firebase db and once it's done once it's saved now see the new hotel has actually just populated over here which is coming from again firebase db and if you want to update something for example uh this guy right and then if i want to change something us so that also will be updated as well so this is also updated got updated if we want to view so i am able to see the view of that hotel details so everything actually coming from that firebase db and once i tend to delete so i am also able to pop up message if i want to delete so i am easily can delete the all that informations or all that records which i want to delete so this is that all that about the applications right which is blazor web assembly along with the firebase db and we are actually hosted i am hosted in here like google firebase hosting so here you can see so this is the default domain right if you want so you can just you know make it your custom domains and also if you want to see uh, your db so that db also is available in this current app only so if you go to the db section firebase db database and here you are able to see these two collection over here one is the hotel another one is user so i'm just currently i'm using uh, all that hotel information so whatever hotels you are see in our application so those are hotel information in here right so like that actually we can implement so before implementation i'm especially recommend uh, go to my channel which is dot net real world example you have to especially you have to go to this one like because the last session actually we have to cover like how we can implement this complete ap uh, application right blazor application along with firebase db and to build your hotel management system so complete uh, from that scratch actually we have to uh, explain so you can go to and you can see it so after that actually we are trying to do to deployment so same application we will to deploy and also if you aware if you knew in this firebase uh, concept so i'm especially recommend go to my channel and go to this section here that firebase you know playlist so you will get you know, many many options over here like how we can actually uh, set up that firebase console and then how we can uh, deploy the application like react app or other any, any app up we can just deploy it so you can just go through first and then you can proceed this right so yeah let me start then so first of all what i will do see this is my same application i already shared in my github link so you can check out right so this is that application blazor application let me show you a run in locally how it's look like so okay so let me run this so now see it is running it is a default home counter weathers but yeah this is that tab actually where we have just created a hotel management system so once you click so see it is just loading your data first time actually it's loading all the data and also here you can just add update delete anything actually whatever you want is given just delete so i'm not going to details again because i already explained everything so you can go to that session so let me close it and let me try to publish this or let me try to uh, hosting in our uh, google firebase right so what i you have to do that there's a two way actually you can do that uh, first way like okay you can just simply a publish from that visual studio or there's another way you can just use that command line to publish this you know application so right click on that publish this guy and uh, go to that publish here create a new profile over here and click that new folder next and choose that where you want to publish so go to that pc or go to that whatever locations so i would like to go in our hosting yeah this is that hosting one and here i just simply will create a new one like uh, blazor web assembly with firebase db right and just select it this guy select and choose that location this is my location right and then finish close and publish 
so once you got successful published see my got successful published now go to that locations you can directly go to in here if you click that guy or go to that location where actually you have to just publish right so click that guy and you are able to see here this see once you publish you will see this two folder or ww root folder and web config right so you go to inside the ww root folder this is actually all about our binary that uh, application right so how we can publish so it's simple i already explained in a many time to publish how in our firebase so what i can do i will just open a cmd over here directly so once you go to that cmd command it will go to you know command prompt and redirect to you know or just you know go to that particular directory so either you can just open uh, any command prompt and go to that directory or you can go directly over here so whatever way uh, is suit for you you can do that okay so here okay so first we have to check okay uh, before deployment we have to check actually firebase firebase is installed or not right so let me check firebase db uh, firebase version right so now see it is this version is available so if it is not so you can just simply write a one command you can install it okay i already explained so now what i need to do simply firebase logged in you can just log in right so i already log in so if it not so you can just log in okay i by mistake uh, wrong command so login firebase login so if it is not logging definitely it will uh, redirect to our browser you have to authenticate and then you come back to over here right so once it's logged in then firebase in it this is a initial command so that i have to hit it okay so once it's done they will ask okay uh, are you ready for proceed yes i'm ready for this proceeding click yes and then you have to choose these options see this is that option so it is saying okay configuration file for firebase hosting and optionally set up to your github actions right so i will choose this option uh you know arrow down over here and then you have to uh, press that space bar on your keyboard and then hit enter and once it hit enter there's a two way again like if you want to create a new project and you deploy that you can do it but also if you want to uh, you know publish your existing project you can use it so i i will use that existing project because previously session i just create you know uh, that project which is uh, creating our database right so i will use same project to uh, deploy our application as well choose that guy and then once you uh, select it you will get all that you know project over here but as of now i have only one project so that will appearing but yeah if do you have any multiple projects so you will get over here so once you get it let me select and hit enter and now it is asking another question what do you want to use your public directory so if you want to another directory you can use it but yeah i'll especially recommend choose uh, choose the default one hit enter and again it is asking okay do you want to single page yes it is a single page so you can put yes and hit enter and then it is asking to okay uh, do you want to set up automatically for that uh, github deployment right so as of now i will not press n because later on we will do this session and separate session so yes n no and then finally see it is saying just writing uh, this three file right so firebase json dot firebase serve and dot git ignore file so these three uh, file actually they actually added along with this public folder right so if you go back to your folder you're able to see this new uh, file and folder actually they got created because this is our all that configuration whatever they required to deployment so those are actually they have to create it right so what you need to do rest all that files you have to just copy except this whatever newly created right so copy this guy and simply move it to this public folder and replace it so now see your main uh, root folder should be like only public folder and along with their firebase configuration right so once and uh, inside the public folder whatever our you know uh, application binary that should be inside that public inside that public folder right so once it's done now go back to your you know that console like uh, the command line and here you have to just make sure okay 
whatever i just set up and setting and all right so how is look like it is working fine or not so there is another command we can make sure before deployment it is working or not that is you uh, know firebase serve command so in this command actually they will create or prepare and you know, all local uh, hosting and then we can check if it is now see this is just created right is local hosting so we have to make sure let me open this guy and now it is here right and then click that hotels and now you are able to see all that things actually working perfectly so let me make sure okay uh, this is also working or not right so new hotel bed with local serve command right just for make sure right so also we'll add it over a okay, usa and then create so once you create now that yeah see this is newly created so that means it is perfectly working fine right so let me close it and also see uh, whatever command actually you fired it is running over here so control c to close that one okay so once you exit for this you know local ser serving right then we have to do final command so what is my final command firebase deploy so this is that final command right so let me zoom in for you this is that firebase deploy and hit enter now see uh final all that uh, uh process has been completed right there is a few process like uh, they found this uh, this kind of files and then upload it then finalize version and version finalize and release version and release complete and also they will share so whatever custom domain actually they uh not custom domain whatever the default domain actually they created so that default domain also provided over here and then if you just copy this guy go to that browser and open over here you are able to see that application is hosting in our here right means our google firebase hosting and then also it is working perfectly uh, let me check it for example uh, pizza with dominoes right and then usa update and let me check yeah this is got updated that means it is perfectly working fine and also if i want to delete let me try to delete yeah got deleted right and also make sure those data actually uh proper updated in our db right so go to that db here go to that they are actually only should be those kind of record like one two three four five right so there's a five records if you check there's a one two three four five so, okay let me quickly uh delete other one so that we can make sure okay this is perfectly working fine so let me delete let me delete and let me delete okay so only one record is there and go to that db context now see it is only one record is there right except all that record got deleted and the record is over here the pizza hotel so if you go to here now see the pizza hotel is present over there right so that means it is perfectly working fine after hosting so that is done so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share